Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just gonna show you how I'm making a rain barrel with the spigot or just a little outlet right here at the bottom. I've been having uh, problems uh, with two of the fittings I had bought. I bought this one. It was in a where was it? It was in the swamp cooler area. But it comes with small bolt, like um, the nuts are kind of thin and small. And every time I would um, screw it on there, the washer bunch up and it kept leaking. So I bought another one, like a brass one, thinking I could tighten it more tighter. This is the one that came with that plastic one. But I just, I just been trying to figure it out to get it to stop leaking, but I haven't got it to stop leaking so this is what the brass one came with and there's the fit the um, nut right there and it came with one washer both of them came with one rubber washer or gasket and it still kept leaking and you can see they got like a it's kind of flat right here on the top but this stuff didn't work I even bought silicone but every time I'll try to thread on the other end on this side it will it'll just unscrew this it'll loosen it so and i wasted kind of that money on that this the brass one was like five bucks and then the this um black black one was like three so i kind of looked more and i found these looked on youtube and I found this, it's a bulkhead fitting. They have it at Home Depot. This is $15. You can see the name right there. I'll post up a screenshot on my phone from Home Depot. And then I bought these to um, drill a hole this size right here. But this one looks like it should work. I think it's made for this, so it has like a thick um, soft washer and then a, a bigger washer or gasket so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, use these to drill out the hole and this at Harbor Freight I got for 15 bucks with the 20% off coupon and this was $15 at Home Depot so it's kind of pricey right there is already 30 bucks and I got these two fittings. I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to cut a little piece here and then put that in there and then put this other one on there. So I'll have a, I have a kind of like a water hose type of, um, to hook up to it. It threads on. So basically it'll be something like that, but with this piece in there. So I'm hoping this works. I've been messing with that for a couple of days and it kept leaking. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys if it works. If I have no problems, it should. And um, and this right here, this is what I'm kind of using to fish it. Fish it in the hole right here. And I think that bigger piece will fit in there. This is what I've been doing. But, uh, I put it on there like that. Then I just um, fish it down in the in the hole, and I'll grab it and then pull it through the hole and then thread it on. I'm just using a it's a hanger wire, but you could use. I've seen people use some strings, and so you could try that out, but. That's the materials I'm going to be using. And if you guys want to give it a try, yeah, I'll show you guys how it comes out. Yeah, so on this too, I even made these little washers to keep the gaskets from bunching up. I put one on the inside and outside. So when I tighten it, the washers don't bunch up. And um, I still had problems, so I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I made the hole too big or it's jagged, but yeah, so hopefully this thing takes care of the problem and we'll find out right now. 
All right, guys, I got the hole drilled. I just got to clean it up. I might sand it a little bit so it's not all rough. And the bit, I used a inch and a half. I don't know if you guys can see it. 33 or 38 millimeter that's what it says on the drill bit but um all right i'm gonna see if this fits yeah so that fit has some play but we'll see how it goes all right got it sand it I just use uh, 220 grit sandpaper just to knock off all the little trimmings and stuff. So, all right, now we can put on the that bulkhead, and this is gonna go exactly the way it is. So that bigger washer back there, that one's gonna stay on, and this nut and washer are gonna come off. Or these are gaskets or whatever so I'm gonna put it in there from the inside and put it up all right guys I got it installed and I put this together right here I use that PVC cement so this is I'm gonna put this here I might put some Teflon tape right here on both of these so and then right here um the other one I, i'll show you right now i got a kind of just like a water hose in that just screws onto here so and this one i'll put teflon tape and um the part that goes inside this is the one i had in there that didn't work it had like two little like little things sticking out right just like that one right here one right here i had to cut them off Cause it didn't fit in this hole so if you guys get the same one they might not fit in there it was still a tight fit i had to kind of shove it through but if it'll make it easier if you cut this out if you want to but i kind of want to leave these so i could close them and then i had to kind of fish it through it took a little more time i um I actually just dropped it in there, and I kind of grabbed it with that um, the clothes hanger I had. And then I had to put the washer on with the clothes hanger. I fished that washer down, the gasket. I fished it down in there, and I um, put it on, and then I had to kind of move it and then grab it with my finger and bring it out. So it took a little longer, but I got it. So now I can still screw on the caps right here. So hopefully this don't leak. I'll show you guys right now. I'm going to go fill it up with some water and test it out. The good thing about this one, it has a reverse tighten. So you got to turn it this way. Because on this one right here, when I was tightening the water hose piece, it was it would um, start loosening as I was tightening. So this thing was like this. Or, oh. Yeah, so it was, the other one was loosening as I was turning like this. It'll start loosening that the nut inside or right here. So this one's good because it, it's a reverse tight. So you got to turn it this way and then it, and this one you turn this way so it won't come loose. All right, guys, we got it. It worked. This is the setup. I actually have this for my chickens, but you know, people use it for their, um, their, to catch water from the rain. I'm gonna do that too, but I'm, I'm gonna put um, a gutter along the other side because the water runs down. Then I'll just run a PVC pipe to one of these. It'll catch it and then run it to, and it'll fall in here. But this is the setup I got. And remember, you can put a, a faucet right here, a little a spigot, and those are like ten, about seven to ten dollars or twelve dollars. But this is what I'm using it for. I got this. I seen this on YouTube. It's 
some other guy had similar setup he has well this one's just here to unplug this in case we get any you want to unclog anything you got a shut off valve right here and I got this running to um, the little cups right here for the chicken so I don't have to give them water every day I could, hopefully it's ba the barrel lasts a month or so or longer we'll find out there's the chickens and I got a couple ducks but yeah it worked it just got water everywhere because this thing was leaking I had to put another gasket but um, yeah that's the setup and um, if you guys can like comment subscribe I'm just posting up whatever I'm doing around the house but um, yeah I'll see you guys on the next video hope this helped later